I know I already suck at vlogging because I missed <laughs> uh, but today's Tuesday August 1st here we go behind the scenes of taking over got my notes here ready to go hello everybody welcome back to the vlog uh, today is August 2nd again I didn't get to vlog much the last two days I've been working a lot more than anything I got home kind of late from work but I had to set up a little post for the book club. I had to post what my, well, I call it my TBR post, what I hope to read for this month. So here I'm gonna give you behind the scenes of like what I pick aside from the group reads that we have for the book club right now. So um, just a matter of like me looking through all my books and see if I can decide something to, to read this month. Um, I've already started uh, Stolen Air by uh, Holly Black, really I'm enjoying it, but I haven't made a read bunch so far the last, like I said, the last couple of days because of work. Um, hoping I can pick it up back up to bar somehow. Um, we'll see about that, but I, I don't want to get my hopes up too much. Uh, this one's one of the group reads. Second group read that I'm participating in. And this one that I kind of figured it doesn't seem like it's a long book, so I definitely want to try to read it this month. So we'll see how I put them together here for a post, but so far this is what I have picked. Uh, but I don't think I really do any other changes unless I find something on Kindle Unlimited to read. We'll see about that. I am kind of got a little inspired by Book Talk this weekend. But we'll see. Picked this one first. I already kind of started reading it last one, so I want to definitely want to continue it. Uh, this one is one of our group receipts this month along with this one So I definitely wanted to read both of these. I just got them recently and this one I figured it, it would be cool to read I like the cover a lot. It's a recent release too. So I would like to definitely help with the hype of the book that just came out So these are so far my hopefuls for this month um, Maybe you'll find something else on Kindle Limited. who knows but for now this is what I'm thinking of reading for this month um, if you're reading anything, let me know in the comments down below of what you're reading or what you were, or if you haven't read in a while, or if you like to recommendation, anything like that. Comment in down below though. As you can see here, we are behind the scenes of the discussion showcase. We'll be discussing the hashtag we want equality, hashtag that we women deserve better on today's episode. So if you haven't yet tuned in, and if you're not watching yet, love, check out the video yeah, as well on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Welcome, sir. What's your name? Milton. Milton, how old are you today? 57. 57? Yep. Alright, Mr. Milton, I'm going to tell a couple friends, okay? Okay. Oh, attention, Texas, go to the house. We've got a very special cowboy in the house tonight. Give it up! Woo! Yeah! Alright. Our friend, Mr. Milton, right over here, celebrating the big 579. He's proud of it. So, in the count of three, I need all y'all's help with a loud, rowdy Texas size. Yeehaw! Ready? One, two, and three. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, but I vlogged the last couple of days. I've been terrible at this. Um, yesterday, we went to uh, Texas Roll House for my dad's birthday. Um, I'll put the video, you'll probably see the video of <laughs> what happened at some point in this vlog. Um, taking the time now to answer a couple of emails on my bookish account and setting up a couple of book tours. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do a lot of book tours, so book reviews, um, book spotlights, promotions and things like that on my bookish accounts. So what I tend to do, I have a couple of like book tour companies that I already sign up with to their master list. Basically what a master is, list is, is when you sign up and they send you emails whenever they have a new book tour and you sign up if you want to and if you do you sign up whether you want to do it on instagram uh tiktok uh just goodreads twitter it depends on what platform they do uh it, it depends on the tour company so this is one of the things that i end up doing so uh one of my close ones is um uh tb and beyond uh book tours because i'm part of the book club so <laughs> they tell me it's like whenever you apply we automatically put you in because we know you're gonna actually do it so that's always fun that I know I get to do that with them there. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of doing that and it's just a great way for like authors to get to know me and for publishers too. So that way, whenever I email them for something else later on, then it's that's something that happens. So it's always fun to do. Um, that's how I've been able to do a couple of things with book publishers and um, authors as well. Um, like I am part of the like the Avon Books influencer program 
I'm part of the uh, one for Penguin Teen as well. So they, what they have in online events, if I can participate, I can do that too. So it's always fun to spend time with other people in the, in the community and to get to know the authors. And instead of the publishers, it helps out in the future as well. So that's how I've been able to get my name out there in that kind of sense. So it's always nice to do book tours. Um, I try to see, I don't join each one of them. I just join the ones that I know I'll end up liking. If I know I've been looking forward to the book, then I sign up for those. That's basically my... I quite like my criteria for it if and if I can't read it for some reason then I have to like a book spotlight or a book promo basically so it's just to, you know to give it a spotlight and to promote it on my social media as I do so it's always nice to do yeah going through my emails trying to find the ones for this week that I can sign up for sometimes I forget to sign up but I miss them unfortunately but it happens <laughs> um, I, I work so much from Monday to Thursday that it's just difficult to uh, find the time to uh, through those days to find the time to actually sign up and do it. So uh, so far, uh, I think I found the ones that I could sign up for that are still open. Hopefully, yeah. Um, and usually, like I get an email from Pink One Teen asking. They give us every month at the beginning of the month uh, we like to sign up for, so it's always nice to do. So I tend to sit down usually during the weekend, one day of the particular weekend and do this and sign up for anything that I can actually. Uh, especially when they do online events, I just it's pretty cool to get to know the authors in that sort of way. Um, because usually I cannot travel like that for other events. Um, unexpectedly so it's always nice to do this um yeah we'll see you in just a bit good morning it is monday august 7th i am ready to go to work i downloaded the audio before divine rivals last night so i was excited to be listening to it on my way to work and while i work hopefully um I'm hoping it doesn't take me too long to get through it. That's my major thing because of work. But I'm really excited for the book. And so far it's starting off great, which I like. And I like when a book just hooks me from the get-go. It just it doesn't have to get, take long for it to grab my attention as well. like about it. So, so far, so good. I think like the most people, <laughs> I actually had to get one of these. So I ordered a pair of the... I would say viral headphones uh, because they're noise cancelling. I really like that. And uh, basically, they're dupes for the AirPods. Um, I do have my regular AirPods, but I've been wanting the headphones. But I didn't want to spend that much money on them. So, let's see how this works. I'm excited to open them. So, here's an unboxing. First things first, I do love the packaging. I do have in my little box like this. It looks really nice. Uh, we'll see how it goes now. Kind of nervous but excited at the same time. Aside from the box, I also love the packaging it comes with. I feel like I have something like this so that way when I'm not using it, I don't like it then either. Let's see, hopefully this works. If not, I'll be really, really, really sad. So I got the greenish ones. I think they're called mint green if I'm not mistaken. It's either going to be that or the black, but I figured it's the closest to the color that I, you, that I like so as you can see right here and it has the buttons here for the noise cancelling settings so far I feel really comfy in my ears bored or something sad I always wonder about when it comes to headphones I have some that look really nice but then they bother my ears and my head here after having them for a while but so far so good so far I do get them a 10 out of 10 comfortable um definitely noise cancelling and it, it's really loud which i really really like especially when i have my my reading time that's what they call my me time yeah but yeah i i give it a 10 out of 10 if you haven't checked them out i hope you do this is what i like to do when i read i have my little color flags i always pick up colors so this one because of the design that we have here uh, the sprayed edges. Um, I kind of wanted like a little purple-ish. That's what it feels like. It kind of matches a little bit of my marker as well. 
and I like her my clear post-its that I this is what I use when I'm taking notes on my book and then pick one of my book books here I'll probably get a pick uh, the Taylor Swift because I feel like the pinkish kind of goes a little bit with the book and then we'll get started on this one Good news, I actually found the audiobook on liberal.fm. If you don't know about Libro, just letting you know, I'm going to put the link in the description. That way you can get in the description that they have. Because every time you purchase an audiobook with them through their program, they actually support independent bookstores. So that's something that I really, really love. Um, I just set it up. I was helping another bookstore that a friend of mine when they gave me their link. But I just changed it to a... a local-ish uh, bookstore here in Florida to support them uh, whenever any purchase is made so if you haven't done it yet go to the link in my description here and that way you can support the same bookstore as well if you want to change it later on that's up to you but I think it's also great to support uh, indie bookstores in any way shape or form and this is one of the ways that I can do this so I might as well try to do it and I love the liberal uh, app it's very so great to use I think it's very useful and so easy to access and easy to do so easy to download all your, all your audiobooks and this is what I like to use uh, most of the time so if you haven't yet try Libra if you can I love her username to be sure um, her name is Satoria I hope I said it correctly uh, she's been talking about Divine Rivals and she posted a TikTok about it uh, and she linked another review from another book talker too so that made me want to pick it up so this is my owl crate version of it it says even in the silence I hope you'll find the words you need to share I love the spine here like the book in itself and here as you can see the design very very nice and I like the art here the art that we have here as well too. and I forgot that it has a letter inside of it so that's gonna be exciting to read inside by the author as well so um, don't be excited to read this and she says she read it in like about 24 hours so that's gonna be interesting I can't do that because I work tomorrow but I'm hoping I can find the audiobook in one of the platforms I'm in so I can kind of switch it off while I'm working and then read it while I'm home again hopefully it will take me <laughs> It, it'll take me up there, but it won't take me that long, I hope. Let's see. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you definitely should. We'll just let you know. <laughs> um, I had seen a TikTok um, by another creator. Uh, this is her profile. I think the only bad thing, um, I did my little self care routine, but the only bad thing about reading this late right now is that I want to keep reading, and it's past minute, and I have to go to bed because I work tomorrow. <laughs> One more day, and then I'll be able to read a little bit more. Uh, but it's interesting so far. I'm I'm enjoying it, and the audiobook too. So if you're doing both, like I am, I definitely recommend the audiobook as well. And like I said before, if you haven't yet, you can check out Libro.fm on the website. I'm gonna put the link in the description. That way you can. I get one audiobook for free if you join, but it's also great because you're supporting independent bookstores every time you make a purchase through them. So I think that's the main reason why. I not only myself but so many people like liberal um yeah I'm just I don't want to stop <laughs> well, at this point it is August 11th and it was technically yesterday okay stick around for you sort of like one though I'm excited to read this I love so right it's ready, so should be good. And I love the cover too. It is Saturday, August 12th. Um, I didn't vlog anything yesterday. Really, I was more spending time with my family. And I took it more like a day off, so I didn't do much. Uh, so today I had a lot to do. I um, started my day with some cleaning. Um, I did my NXT review for my wrestling talk. And I did, I think, probably the final edits of my body stamp piece, piece of Diary Women's, Diary's Women's Division, um, to be exact. Um, waiting for somebody to give me a quote so I can finish that part of it. 
Um, then I gotta work on editing this vlog and I'm working on the thumbnail as it is. Just as I'm doing a couple of things here and there. Um, I have an unboxing to do as well on my TikTok for uh, Once Upon a Book Club. Uh, so if anything, I'll put the link or the code that, that in the description so you can get a discount whenever you shop with them. And yes, this is more like an affiliate kind of thing for me. Um, but yeah, looking forward to her working hard on it. So I'm going to give you a little preview here. Little preview here, the thumbnail. As you see, I'm focusing a lot of writing for a body stamp piece. And my reading of Divine Bibles, I haven't finished it. I hopefully finish it tomorrow because I feel like by the time it is right now and today, I don't think we would have finished it. But yeah, this is how it is going to look like so far. Uh, may make some changes, but this is just me brainstorming for the time being. I forgot to mention that as I'm doing my edits here on the thumbnail on the vlog, I'm actually watching Collision here on the set as well. So doing that at the same time almost. I actually forgot to give an update on Divine Rivals. Um, I think I'm almost halfway through the book. I ended up reading a lot of it yesterday. I just couldn't put it down. It's so, so interesting. So if you haven't read it yet, do recommend it. Um, it was recommended. Uh, I mentioned her earlier on TikTok. Um, it's just... It's just I love the part of involving like the writing and the typewriters. I always like typewriters since I was growing up and I, I think like enemies to rivals kind of thing. It's something that I really really like and I like how they do it here in the banter between the two characters that we've had so far. But yeah, really I'm enjoying it. I didn't want to put it down. I did want to read or read it today or listen to the audiobook as I worked but I was doing so much other so many other things like be watching NXT from my review that I couldn't concentrate listening to something else at the same time, so I didn't do it. Um, kind of hoping I can finish what I'm doing right now so I can kind of uh, focus on that because I want to read a couple chapters before I go to bed tonight. I forgot I had an unbox this and I got here today. Hopefully I got the right... I don't think it's in the right spot. There we go. Um, I wanted to show this off because my mom found it not so long ago um through a video on facebook i think it was facebook or instagram but either way um i forgot to like write it down and look at the item to get it and then ironically a few days ago my brother sent me a reel with the same item so i think probably obviously order it to see the name of the car so i could order it but i also needed a we also needed a new steamer so I needed to get a steamer there because we got lost the one we had for some reason. But this is what I wanted to show off more than anything. It's a barcode scanner. My project is that I'm hoping to get the Believe bookshelves from IKEA for to change my stuff around here. And in order to do so, or in the process of doing so, I can use this scanner to catalog all the books that I have. Just let's see how it goes. But that way I can hopefully have a some kind of file or some kind of way to know what it has or purchase it and that way I can access it on the go so whenever I go to the booster hopefully I don't get a duplicate. And let's see how this goes. It's a project so see how it goes. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. 